pays the bill and I call my magazine Rock UK. Um, this is my magazine, it's my front cover, um, front of the page and my double page spread. Um, the reason I chose to call my magazine Rock UK was because I thought it was quite simple and effective because it immediately tells the reader that it's a UK rock magazine and um, it immediately shows the USP of my magazine which is it's um, just based on rock, uh, UK acts. Um, these are sort of main key features for, um, I found in rock magazines in my own work. Um, the bold, ma bold dark masthead is typical of the genre um, with the low empowering shot Light and parent shot there, um, as a cover image. My house style is quite dark and is similar to those you'd find in other rock uh, or metal magazines on the market. I find it quite organised um, with my information um, and it fits quite into the classic layout of normal magazines with cover lines on the left side of the magazine and the main cover line stretched across the middle of the um, cover image. My audience I attracted mainly through my photography um, and house style magazine. I looked at other house styles of other rock or metal magazines in the market for inspiration of my own work and I did a survey on SurveyMonkey um, for feedback from my magazine and it showed that my audience were mainly attracted to my photography and magazine layout. Um, the audience I chose to aim at was um, rock and metal fans. I think I showed them quite well because um, out of all the people I asked, 100% of them said that it would be predominantly metal fans that buy a magazine and quite a lot of them said rock um, fans would as well. Um, I think I represented them visually quite well with the cover image being quite um, quite aggressive and imposing which fits with the kind of metalhead stereotype you'd find. Um, I also chose the Masthead font especially as it looks quite similar to the font you find on a magazine cover or um, a CD cover for a metal band. I think the inst uh, institutions that distribute my project will be places such as WH Smith who um, distribute through companies such as IPC and stores such as HCV and others on the high street. I think the reason they distribute this is because it's quite commercial and it's quite a mainstream magazine like Kerrang or Metal Hammer um, and it's not a specialist magazine such as the online magazine Metal Message. Um, I've learned quite a lot on this project um, about media in media stuff. I've learned that there's easy links to the internet through sites such as Blogger and SurveyMonkey and SlideShare. Um, there's fast and more widely available software for photo editing and production work. I think I've improved my Photoshop skills quite a lot since my preliminary work because I've um, I look for more of the overall picture of what's going to happen rather than the original image itself. Um, I've learnt more about high styles and key concepts of magazines, and I've learned that audience research and reader profiles of magazines are quite important to the overall picture. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Um, Photoshop, what were your favourite tools and techniques that you used? Um, probably the brushes because they make such a di big difference to the um, picture. Because if you have them slightly in the background, it makes it draws your eyes right into it immediately, I think, without too much. And in terms of text, what, what were your techniques that you used for text? For like masthead or. Um, I looked design? on the font for lots of masthead designs. Um, I went through probably about 20 designs and looked at the shape of the letters and how they fit in with the genre themselves until um, so I found the one I liked, which I thought fit quite well with the cover image as well. You did two surveys, one in the pre-production process and one after you'd produced the magazine. Yeah. Was there any connection between the two in terms of what you asked from your audience, in terms of what they expected from a music magazine, and then what you delivered, you know, did you deliver what they wanted? What, what was, was there any correlation yeah, between the two surveys? There was quite a lot with um, the what attracts these magazines in the design stuff. Because quite a few people said that it was the main coverage image and the designs that attracted them to the magazine in the first place. So I spent a lot of time making sure that was quite bright and bold and would be attractive to them as well. Um, and 
And then when, you, when you asked them what, it, what they liked about your magazine. Yeah, they said that as well. But I tried not to make the text too kind of bulky and um, all over the place because uh, rather than sitting there reading the whole essay, because quite a few people said they wouldn't like a magazine that was like that. So. Um, yeah, the, the original design I had for my front cover was probably a bit more basic than the one I um, ended up with because I looked at different angles of photo shoots, but I settled on the one I've got because I think it's more fitting with the genre with the imposing shot rather than I was going to have just a kind of normal shot of the band just standing around. What are the already established ways in which you say is your main rival? Um, I'd probably say Kerrang or Metal Hammer because Kerrang, although it's aimed at a slightly younger audience than mine, um, it covers quite a lot of the same kind of music and Metal Hammer is quite um, similar as well uh, as it fits into the same kind of genre and the same age group as mine does. Thank you very much.